Good morning. And today's breakfast looks pretty professional, huh? <laughs> So I've um, went to the Go Banana shop again and I actually bought a bunch of stuff that I like to try and some recommendations as well. Okay, not, not a lot to be honest. I, I don't think I can even eat that much. So one thing that I saw is my favorite fudge. Love this stuff, especially if it's like uh, freshly made home, um, made at home. But I guess this is the next best thing because I don't really have this too much in Singapore. Mm. Mm. So it's slightly milky. I love that part about this um, stuff. Mmm. It's not too sweet as well. That's quite surprising, to be honest. This usually, this stuff is really sweet. Hmm. You can see me putting the whole thing in my mouth, right? Because it's not sweet at all. Mm, I mean, it's slightly sweet. Hmm. I love that. Always my favorite stuff. So, I... Did see something that I love as well, which are nougats. I love this stuff as well. Um, of course, it's a bit different in the Western countries. <laughs> I will call it. So, gonna try this here as well. Mm. 
Mm. Pretty light and fluffy to be honest. Mm. And it's not it's not too sweet. Wow. I'm surprised. Just a bit um unfortunate that there's not too much nuts inside. Doesn't have um too much of the nutty flavor that I usually expect from this. Hmm. Love that. Glad I got it. So I got the usual like Coke bottle candy, right? Because I was thinking mm, I would love to have some sour stuff to go. So we're going to try this as well. Hmm. Yep. Sour. Although the flavor is very different from what I usually taste from a sour sweet. Yeah, it's a like straight up sour. Not much sweetness to it. I mean, until I really chew down on the candy. Yeah. It's kind of cherry flavor. It's not really Coke flavor. Maybe I got it wrong. No, I think it's sour um, cherry. Okay, make some um something I'm kind of familiar with. I think this is the same thing. So these are like um things similar to what you call high chew in Asia, right? Is this this is not this is not bubble gum, right? I hope. I don't think so. So it comes in a packet of um five, right? So I, I do love this stuff because like who doesn't love high chew, right? So I think this is similar to that. Okay, so like so. Hmm. Yup. It's exactly as I remembered. Because I know this is like the the equivalent of that. Equivalent of high chew. Hmm. I love this stuff. <laughs> Give me a while to chew. Okay, next up, the familiar name. To be honest, I have no idea how to pronounce this. Is this time? This is how you pronounce it? Time? Like 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 time? Like clock? I'm not sure. Could be, right? So, this is a piece of chocolate. Wow. Okay, I wonder if there's any like waffles or anything inside. Oh, it's not. It's a bit of um, caramel. Oh, wow, this thing is amazing. Wow. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. You can hear that, right? Hmm. Oh, my God. That's very good. It's not very sweet as well. Hmm. No. Okay, I regret I regret only getting four of that. Maybe I'll go back again to get more. <laughs> okay, so um, I had some recommendations from Elaine. So not exactly the, the one that she was recommending because she was recommending a toffee, but I couldn't find it. So I do have the chocolate over here. Okay, and then I think this is uh, licorice. So let's maybe start off with the licorice. So I know some people are like cringing right now, like, why are you having licorice? But like, I do love licorice. I do enjoy it sometimes. Okay, so hopefully this is good. Since this, this, this is the brand, right? So maybe they are doing things a little different. Oh, okay. It's a, it's a bit like already... Um, okay, never mind. I can't show you, but like there's like broken beads inside already. It's a bit harder than... Okay, stick stuck to the the paper a little. Okay, so yep, can see the paper, but yeah, this is licorice. Quite a big piece actually. Hmm, it's softer than normal licorice actually. Hmm. 
it tastes a little different because I think it's a little salty, I think. Hmm. It's salty and I I get some slight notes of chocolate in it as well. That's interesting. Hmm. This is not like the kind of um licorice that I usually remember because usually it's kind of like chewing on rubber kind of texture, but then this is like like the same um texture as like these, right? Like the nougat kind of, or like my maybe like the high chew. No, hmm. I wouldn't say that it's very good because it's not really the taste I remember and it's kind of very salty for some reason. Hmm. Okay, let me take a while to chew this. Okay, lastly, the milk chocolate. So unfortunately, I couldn't find the toffee one. So this is the next best thing. At least this is what I was told is milk chocolate, right? It kind of looks like toffee though. Like caramel. Oh, this is hot. Mm. Hmm. Yeah. I'm not sure how to describe it to be honest. Yeah, it's kind of there's there's chocolate in it, definitely. But it's like a consistency of a toffee. Hmm. You hear that right? There's like some hard parts as well. Hmm. Yeah. This is very interesting. Um, yeah, I quite like it. It's kind of like chocolate, but then because you know chocolate usually coats your tongue, right? It's like very, you know, after a while it gets too much and then it coats your tongue and then you get sick of it. But I don't think I will really get sick of this one. Yeah, it just melts and then it just disappears. Like it's a very light, um, like hot chocolate taste. You know, like how, um, Hot chocolate isn't really like chocolate, right? So it's a very light cocoa taste. So I think this is kind of like that. Hmm. Yeah, I quite like that. I think this is MVP though. <laughs> like this is amazing. I'm probably gonna get more of it. And more of the fudge as well. I do love the fudge a lot because it's not as sweet as I as usually is. I can definitely eat a lot of those and these. So hope you guys might I hope you guys like my very short review of some random sweets that I got from the shop. It might not be even like traditional at all. Oh that's meatloaf. And then there's a like roast potatoes. I think this is the ratatouille. Yeah. Right. The pieces of vegetable. And I didn't see these that day. Lentils. Right. Yeah, yeah it wasn't. Yeah, they didn't there. have that last time. Yeah, I like right. that. Oh, that's so good. Wow. Oh. Only four This is also our water tower. Okay, so I've just ordered takeaway and what I got is uh, something that's apparently famous in this area, which is kebab with fries. There's a proper name for it, but I'm not I'm not going to bother pronouncing it, so here's the name. I think it's here. Right, okay. And this is what it is. Let's have a look. 
Oh, wow, it's a lot more than I thought. Let's see if I can get a better view. Yep. So, seems like uh, we do have like a very huge uh, jalapeno is a pickle maybe and then we have like a good amount of um, kebab meat and lots of fries underneath some onions as well and then like some kind of uh, sauce or maybe cheese on top so let's uh maybe give this a try let's get a little bit of um, a fries a little bit a little bit of onion a little bit of kebab like so Mmm, no. Mmm, yeah. So first thing first, right, is that this this place I'm getting it from was that same giant kebab that I got that day. So I, I already know that the taste great, that the restaurant is so good that I'm probably just gonna go, probably just gonna go this place several times. So secondly, is that I like how the now right like this right i can even taste the uh spices that's on the meat itself even more and then it's like over fries and i think this is not cheese but like mayo so it's really good and then the little bit of like uh onions i'm getting here right it's giving me even ex even more extra crunch it's not dry at all mm. and then maybe i'll just give this a try as well Mm. Something they they do it they, they 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 do to it that is like very crispy and juicy as well. There's some kind of liquid as well. I'm not sure what, but yeah, this is amazing. I'll be honest. Like this is a great meal. Is it's not even it's supposed to be fast food, right? But I'll call this as a as a very nice meal. Like. I mean, if it's not fries, then it could have been like you know grilled potato. That would be that would work great as well. I feel. Yeah, I'm. I guess this is the end of the day. I don't think I'm gonna film anymore for the rest of the day. So, I'll see you guys on my next vlog, man.